After registering a 19-19 draw against a determined Welsh Warriors, the Kenya Morans team needed a win against Boland in both teams' second match of the Safari Sevens at Kasarani Stadium before locking horns against Australia icons in the decisive affair. Kenya had mixed results at the group stage as the Shuja team registered a 20-14 win over a stubborn Germany before Simba Saba suffered a 25-17 defeat to Samurai in both teams' opening fixture. Simba Saba needed home support against Spain as they secured an impressive win before a rejuvenated Shuja side battled South Africa's Sharks to reach the quarterfinals of the main cup competition. Argentina, Western Province of South Africa, and Samurai of Fiji progressed to the main cup quarterfinals on Sunday as spectators wait for a scalp that will see Kenya battle for the main title. The thrills are always there because rugby is um, a social sport. So it brings all types of people and at the same time it brings people together because it's a family sport. And with rugby we all grew together as a unit. So I'm looking at the atmosphere being greater tomorrow. I don't think the Kenya team will win because of the senior players being excluded from the team. But uh, according to how they've played, it's good. So far so good. It's better. Whichever player that was given the Kenyan shark to play, we are going to support them. So. Our hope is that even the new players can be able to retain it. So it will be bad to start saying that because I think the best thing is just let's wait for them, let's give them the support. The challenge continues on Sunday with Argentina, Australia and Samurai remaining favourites to lift the title. Uh, Mbaka Collins, GBS Sports.